Good morning, guys. Um, just on my way up to Evesham to fish. Uh, uh, well, it's a double-headed weekend. Um, individual today, and there's team match tomorrow. Um, right, what I've done, I've uh, I come early. Uh, well, when I say early, I'm dropping off some ground bait to uh, one of uh, uh, the guys who uh, who's a reseller, and a guy who uh, helped uh, helped the. Um, development of the barbel mix so uh, let's go meet him his name is richard i think he's just turned up going out the door that bite well hang on I just uh, right this is richard so, oh, yeah, you're all right. <laughs> as i said this uh, richard this is uh, richard Anderson. richard Anderson, yeah. yeah he's the guy who helped me develop um, uh, the barbel mix well it was his idea actually and uh, it's going extremely well he, isn't it? he really is yeah he, people are loving it Great. i've got people coming from hereford from yeah. monmouth all over to come collect it for me and you're catching uh, a few I'm on it <laughs> catching every time i tried it last night i tried it with yeah. a different ground bait yeah with no response yeah i changed it over to the gold medal ground bait and i caught a barbell within 10 minutes bloody hell they were proof is in the pudding right let's go <laughs> let's go you right he's, uh, he's ordered 30 sacks so um normally uh you are, just quickly show you. You are. <laughs> okay. Do they do it for a living? Yeah. Hiya, Di. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've just arrived. Uh, I'm late. Uh, there was two pegs left and uh, I've drawn 68. Uh, not the best areas, but never mind. It's a, it's a um, sort of practice for tomorrow. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just talking to Di, and um, she was telling us about the uh, the actual final this year, which is fantastic. No blood worm allowed, and uh, you've had a, a um... no invites. Pardon? No invites. No invites. Yeah, it's fantastic, and uh, I think you've had more interest this year, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. More people have sort of entered, and uh, so it's going well. All right. Okay, I better get to my peg. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> See you later. Best of luck. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, here we are then. Peg 68. Not the best pegs. In fact, uh, last uh, match, there was a blank on either side. <laughs> so, um, now these pegs are normally good when there's water on because there are a few bream around here. Now, I was on peg 70 um, uh, about two weeks ago and I... Uh, I just had just had one one eel. Um, so anyway, it's a nice day, and I think it's just a matter of, um, as I say, practicing for tomorrow. Really, um, my tactics today: um, I'll go down the side with a maggot again, see if there's any perch. I'll fish the hemp. Then I'll keep trying the hemp. And I might put a little feeder across as well. Oh, and I might put a waggler up in case there's any chub up in the water. But uh, yeah, I've got some options to fish. I say, don't expect a lot for meat today. <laughs> but there you are, it's, uh, fishing's a funny old thing. You know, you get your runs, you get your runs where you uh, can't do anything wrong. And then you get your runs when, unfortunately, the, uh, uh, the draw eludes you. But uh, it's a nice day. Let's hope it don't rain, so it stays nice like this. A bit of a downstream wind, but uh, not nothing to worry too much about at the moment. Although it is picking up a, a little bit. All right, we've got the caravans opposite. Let's hope we have got nobody with their lawnmower out today, because a bloody nuisance that is. <laughs> there you are. Okay, let's get tackled up. All right, guys, uh, match is just about to start. Um, as I said, I don't give much hope on this peg. Uh, I had 71 two pegs away, which I had um, um, one eel off, as I said. Last match, oh, it's a bloody wasp. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, and uh, as I say, they both blanked uh, on both sides of me. Bloody wasp, get away. <laughs> be attracted to my scent um my ground weight uh yeah so anyway um i'm gonna try my best i'll try the hemp try it on the side i'm gonna use the same tactics that i won the section of 63 last week so um we'll see what happens um just a few minutes to go to the match at the start one minute in fact so um i'll just let it uh the camera roll and uh, see what happens uh, as i say i'll be feeded on the side hemp on the uh, 
on, a, on 13 metres. Uh, I've got a little feeder set up and I've got a waggler set up for the middle as well for bleach and that sort of thing. So we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, let's just angle the camera a bit better if I can. Yeah, that might be a bit better. You might be able to see me going downstream. <laughs> okay. Sell it. Hold it. Right, well, what I've done, I've put a couple of maggots down the side. A um, bit of hemp on the 13 metres line, which I'll be uh, fishing most of the match, I think. Just keep it going in. Only about a dozen grains or so. Yeah, and then <clears throat> I'm going to start off on a waggler, just in case there's any fish up in the water. And I'll come in then on that stick float on the inside. Okay, let's um, get the wagon out first. All right, I've got to be careful, there's a bloody tree above me. Um, so, see, I'm really practicing for the match tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. All right, so. Uh, Two red, red maggots up in the middle. See what happens. Don't give her much hope, but you never know. I got the waggler set at about seven or eight foot, which is probably, you know, in the top half of the water. Usually I stand up at about six foot, so I might just change the depth on this a minute. Right, I got this downstream now, which is the, uh, might help in a bit, so. Right, let me just adjust the, the float a bit, just come up a bit, I think. Make sure I don't snag the hook. Right. I got a two swan crystal waggler on, which, uh, right, I now set it at about six foot. So let's see. Sometimes this produces uh, a few little chublets, you know. Um, as I say, it's a bit of a scratch, going to be a scratchy match today. I mean, there are a couple of methods that you could use on this on these pegs. One is, you know, obviously open end feeder for the bream that live along here. But generally, uh, you need colour in the water for them to uh, to show. You know. So really, just like in the perch. Uh, roach. Right. No, it's going to be sort of hard work to begin with, feeding three lines, so I'll just keep that anyway. Right, if I'm going to get any roach, it'll be later on in the match anyway, so.
remember doing this once um, up in the water uh, on a peg, just a couple of pegs up, and I actually uh, had a couple of chub to begin with. So, but this bloody, as I say, the wind's picking up a bit. <laughs> I blew the camera over. Too windy for the rock and out. You never know, right? This is worth a chuck just in case you get a bite. The wind won't go in it. Well, the sod's low in there, just turn the camera off and let <laughs> just had a perch, so we got one perch after half hour, so, you know, <laughs> on the stick boat on the inside. Well, it's happened, guys. He's brought out the lawnmower again. Bloody nuisance, honestly. Noise. You know, they think they got something better to do on a bloody Saturday. Anyway, just had a roach as well on the stick, so <laughs> only a small one like that. Okay, okay, right, <laughs> two hours into the match and I've been feeding the hemp and I've just gone out and I've just had a couple on it. So let's see if I can catch some more.
takes a while to put that hemp on, but once it's on, then, you know, it saves you a lot more time rebating. So what I'm doing, I'm feeding a dozen, six to a dozen uh, grains of hemp above me, about three meters above me. And I'm trying to judge it so the, the light float falls uh, in conjunction with the loose feed. So, on your back! No, I do. Bloody boats for you, innit? See, they don't get a damn. Okay, well that's about it uh, really, uh, match is over, um, I had a couple on the, I had a little string of uh, roach on the, on the hemp in the last, in the sort of last um, hour, and then the whistle went, <laughs> so it was the same, they, they always come late, don't they, these roach on the hemp, um, I just spoke to the guy below me, he's got a couple of perch and an eel, um, I was going to have a look what the other guy got, so, just looking for a section, sort of uh, when you're really more than anything else. It's gonna have a good guy anyway. <laughs> oh, he's uh, mitten to two pound above me. So, all right, <laughs> any good? Two and a half pound. Two and a half pound. Oh, he's saying about two. Two. So I probably, I could probably got about the same. Right. Oh, all right. So two and a half. Well, no, the next uh, peg below me is the end one for quite a few pegs, right. but he's uh, he's only admitting to about two pounds as well. Our, our section goes up to seventy-three, doesn't it? Uh, every five pegs, yeah, seventy-three. Oh, yes, right. right. So, um, yeah, so I'm uh, sem that's right, seventy-three. Yeah, the qualifying section. Oh, qualify. Yeah, qualifying section goes from Charlie there in the blue to seventy-three. So oh, does it? Oh, so you're yeah, right. Okay. I was just looking at the five peg section, me. <laughs> if you qualify as a bonus, I think. What you got, a couple of pounds, the same, like, you know. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any on the hemp? No, Charlie's had a couple on the hemp, but I haven't fished it today. Uh, I've been struggling to try and catch some eels, so I've had one. Yeah. Well, he's got three eels and eight perch below you. He's says about two pounds, so. Oh, let's well, wait for the weigh, and I know so. <laughs> yeah. And no. No. I had a couple of bleak on the waggler, like. <laughs> you know. It would be nice, yeah, going down the middle. I don't think you got the type of fish for it, though. Well, unless the, the bream show up or, or something, or skimmers. I'd like to do it properly with ground bait, but, you know. You you could blow up like you blow out like you know. <laughs> oh well, it's all different tactics we try anyway. <laughs> all right, let's wait for the weigh-in now. They're all admitted to about two two and a half pound in the section, so they were three pound five, three pound two. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just did not weigh three three right. 
Three fives the best so far. See. It's all close in this section. Three five to beat. I've just been having odd bite on the TV, odd stick on end. Two pound eleven. Two eleven. Thank you. Can hold that. I mean, it's videoing now. Didn't mean to. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm videoing. Yeah. Wash your hands. You're not supposed to be sharing phones. Yes, please, Clive. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Oh, there you are then. Yeah, just missed out on the section then. Uh, yeah, three five and we had two fifteen, six ounces. Hmm. Yeah, right, that was uh, better than expected, you know. Because uh, these didn't weigh in at all last uh, match, these pegs, so. Right, all for the team match tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow on the ne next one. Hey, don't you know there's a virus about yeah. you? Stay away. <laughs> Not just because you're hey, well. I, I, didn't put, I didn't put that thing, uh, your last vlog, you know. Um, oh, good but, luck. Uh, Go on, then, talk to me. But well done. I think you've, uh, you've, had, it, you've had it on the hemp today, have you? Yeah. yeah, even the blind squirrel finds an acorn now and then, <laughs> as we're saying. But you were telling me that you're not going to fish it, but you are, don't you? No, I don't mind fishing it, but <laughs> normally you can't win on it, can you? No, that's right, yeah. yeah. No, but I, because, I, because we come here expecting to fish blood work, yeah, therefore but, we, we don't really, we don't ever fish with no. it. So, so will, you, will you be fishing the final then? I expect you'll be here. Uh, well, man, I've qualified for the Sunday and yeah. I spoke to the lads and I think they're coming on the team match oh, as well now. Okay, good. But uh, hopefully it'll revert back to a decent match next year with Bloodwood. Is it? Okay. I hope so. <laughs> Have you heard something I haven't? No, just hope for the next year <laughs> oh, it'll go back to normal. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fingers crossed. Oh, well, there you are. You heard it, you heard it from the, the horse's mouth there. <laughs> Okay, morning guys. Uh, this is the uh, team event uh, on the Sunday, so uh, just going round now. Nice and early. See if we can get an early draw. If I were you, and 40 pegs, and I was third, I think. Of course. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> so you actually picked up somebody? Well done, Steve. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you fish in the Thames Festival this year? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I just got my name down because uh, I wasn't, I wasn't going to, but I'm now. So uh, that's what yeah. <laughs> you, you've got all quiet now. Don't the well, cameras I've got on quiet you? Quiet because the last time you had that on me. <laughs> yeah. You were pulling me out of the Thames. Oh, on so the yeah. Thames Festival. All oh, right. Do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> the apple from. Yeah, yeah, I know. Stuck in the bloody water. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. No help at all. Just standing. The individual winner will be invited to fish the Evesham final and the Witchhaven final. Two tickets in one match, so I hope that pleases. If you are fishing between 81 and 87, the ballards are down in this meadow to go into the next, but when you get into the next, cut right across to the far corner where there is a gate, 
The gate will be open for an hour and a half this morning from the draw, and this evening it will be open for you to come out so that you can drive to your pegs. But obviously they've had trouble at the sports ground and they don't want the gypsies to move in while we're fishing. <laughs> Uh, which is the reason. Now, After the other gypsies, we'll be moving in. <laughs> that you do not throw your bait in the river. Please, take it home, give it away to somebody, or sell it back to Howard. <laughs> 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 Trevor Chalk have been trying to steal it. Well, I thought we were back up early. I think you to lock the gate. Yeah. You're not packing up early. The first to take the draw this morning is Texas A46. <laughs> okay, well, it's interesting how they're doing the draw. Uh, it's, it's a blind draw in an envelope, and it's up to the captain then to decide which uh, number goes first. So, uh, one of the, the favourite pegs has just gone now, peg one. Okay, let's think we're next. All right, I'm going to let Sam do the... Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you do next, to, oh, that means we definitely won't get peg two there. Pike nine. Nine. nine in the middle. Okay. E. E. Yeah. The rates are interesting, like three pounds, three pounds, seven pounds, seven seven pounds, seven pounds, seven pounds, seven pounds, seven pounds, seven B. He's on 61. 15, 16. C. 77. Sam Johnson is 77. And that concludes the draw. Thank you. Okay, there you are. So it's a fair team draw. I mean, uh, except for peg 77. Thankfully, I am drawn that. I got peg 45. I actually won a match of 45 a couple of years ago on my hemp. So uh, it'd be nice to uh, do it again, but <laughs> we'll see anyway. Um, see you at the draw, let's see you at the uh, peg now. Okay, the sun's come out. <laughs> um, right, uh, I didn't film much, uh, to be honest, of the fishing because it was much or less like yesterday. Um, just the odd, uh, I've had four roach on the hemp all day a couple of little chublets a couple of little blades you know a couple of little gudgeon so um don't know what that's going to do in the section uh so anyway um it's a shame really that the hemp didn't go um you know one of the guys come along and said uh sometimes it's you know uh, fishing two matches back to back um on the same water you, you know doesn't help and I can understand, you know, fish are sickened off, and uh, I've heard that um, it's been really, really hard today. So, um, anyway, um, I'll weigh in, and then I'll go back and see uh, who's won and who's qualified. I don't know how our lads have done, but um, uh, I think uh, I heard about two and a half pound in my section. But, you know, probably could be a bit more. <laughs> All right, then, as I say, um, it's much, much the same as yesterday. It's going way in now. Okay, one one. <laughs> so you are. Uh, don't know how many I've beaten, just a couple I think. <laughs> right, let's come out of the results.
Yes, well, uh, say that again, you, you drew the same peg. Yes, I've drawn the same peg and I've practised it on Wednesday, you won my section. And you won your section and you won the match. The other, won the your match. team has won the match. Yes. Well done. What's yeah. what, what do you call the team? Ulster Sports. Ulster Sports. Ulster Sports. The old Ulster Sports. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> get in, get in. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there you are. I just uh, spoke to Alan, um, the local uh, team, and they won it. We were tenth. Um, we were about seven, eight points out of the top six. So uh, it's always next year. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.